We have gathered here today to remember, to reconnect to those we loved and to those we lost on September 11th. The St. Nicholas National Shrine is grateful. It's grateful to welcome and embrace all of you. And is grateful to embrace all you and the roles and the traditions that you proudly display and observe. For this shrine, the resurrected and rebuilt house of God that once humbly graced Cedar Street and was destroyed on 9-11, this shrine is a place and indeed, not just a place, but a palace, a palace of memory for all. As the only religious site in the New World Trade Center here, overlooking the memorial pools and the museum, we feel a special responsibility to welcome everyone and to invoke both within and without these walls all those whose lives were lost either on that fateful day or in the subsequent years when their sacrifice of service to this place cost many their health and even their lives. It is the reason that we have included in the iconography of the shrine depictions of the history of that day. It is the reason why the words of Pericles of Athens, the man responsible for the rebuilding of the Parthenon, one of the most recognized shrines in the world, it is the reason that these words of this Pericles are incised into the stone on the front of this church when you enter. There is a reason that all the marbles of this shrine is from the same vein of stone that built the Parthenon 2,500 years ago. We repeat the words of this man, Pericles, for they gave their lives for the common weal, and in so doing, won for themselves the praise which grows not old, and the most distinguished of all sepulchres, not that in which they lie buried, but that in which their glory survives in everlasting remembrance.